We're here today at Point Blank Studios in East London for Samplethon 2017. This year we've partnered with the KPM Music Library to provide producers competing here today with access to pre-cleared samples from their sought-after library. The 20 producers taking part will be competing against one another and the clock to see who can come up with the best finished production in a working time of just seven hours. The vibe in the room, kind of electric really, when I walked in, just to see this kind of concentration of creativity, it was just fantastic. I can feel the competition, everybody's focused working, but it seems like there's a good vibe and everybody just wants to come out with some good music at the end of the day. It's amazing having the opportunity to sample stuff legally. Some of the people have used only samples from KPM, no sound library stuff at all. To any sampling artist and hip hop producer, these uh, KPM records are sort of like the holy grail. They're always looking for these green sleeves. It's definitely in everyone's advantage that the actual material was so solid. It's such a dense catalogue that you could literally do multiple sample fonts. Finding a treasure trove of samples I've never, never heard before. I thought I'd dug fairly heavily, but apparently not. Some crazy stuff. I'm constantly amazed that people just start from scratch with a USB stick in the morning, and then you get a literally a fully arranged, composed piece of music at the end of the day that is mixed as well. After seven hours or however long it, I'd still be looking through the samples. <laughs> but I definitely felt there was a degree of complexity that I hadn't heard in previous sample forms. Each year, the Ghana bar gets a little bit higher. It's cool to see how people flip it and what the context they use it. I'm just looking for something that, that catches me and I feel a vibe from it I can connect with. Whether it's a hip-hop track or something more abstract, as long as I get a feeling from it, then I'm going to warm towards that. The judging was pretty difficult. I pretty much like them all. Everybody has come in with really good track. There's been a real variety between all the different people that have sampled stuff. And there's been no you know, two tracks that have been similar. There were quite a few that were in the hip-hop vein. There were a couple of ambient tracks, and that was fantastic to hear. I think it's great to hear someone you know, really kind of take a risk, especially in this kind of slightly pressurised situation. It did feel really close this year. Definitely a baseline standard that was pretty damn high. Couldn't have been happier really with the turnout today and how everything went. Loads of talent in the room, super varied outcome. People doing all kinds of styles of stuff from ambient stuff to the kind of hip hop stuff you might expect, abstract, beachy kind of stuff. So proper variety. Judging was very, very difficult. In the end, we end up with the, the right three in the top three places and very, very pleased with the results. It's been a great day. As far as the winner goes, I just think that the track had it all. A kind of perfect arrangement for a start. There was just lots of really kind of interesting things that really kept your attention. So I was very impressed by the, by the winner. It was actually pretty clear to me that it was the right person who won. The track was really complete. Straight away, I'm liking the ear for a good sample. He scores on technical execution, he scores on musicality, clearly very good. I'm really happy especially because I'm broke and I spent a lot of money going here so <laughs> it would have been a shame to go home empty-handed. It's been a really great experience. Thanks for having me, it's, uh, it's been a blast. Um, I'm really happy to be a part of this.